Right, so what we're going to make is some meatballs. Okay, it's not just IKEA make meatballs. It was a Viking favourite. And we're going to use typically some beef. They used to, they were farmers, they would raise cattle, and they would also raise pigs. Obviously, not the whole variety of pigs we get today. Okay, uh, so we got some pig meat. So our meatballs are going to consist of that. But before we get started, so a bit of filler, just like uh, just like we tend to do and things. Uh, with, they take some bread. Now this is ordinary. What's name bread? We do have some authentic uh, Viking rye bread here, which we'll be serving with the meal. Oh, pardon me. Oh, that ale's a bit gassy. Um, so first thing I'm going to do before we start doing everything else together, we've got to get our bread soaked. So I'm just tearing the bread up, okay, into smaller bits, and then um, Vikings, like I said, they kept cattle. They, you know, they farmers. They raised cattle they had dairy products and so we're going to add some double cream okay they like their double cream they tend to call it heavy cream so i've just sort of roughly torn up some uh, bread there and what i'm going to do is i'm then going to add this cream to it okay um don't necessarily want all of this cream, all right? Probably about half this little pot. So I'm just going to add that. Might have to add a little bit more. That'll do for now. You can always add a little bit more later. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this by for about 10 minutes or so um, for the bread to soak it all up. I might have to add some more. Okay, soften all up. And that will go in the mixture with the meat. So, like I said, um, we've got some beef. We've got about 200 grams of beef, 200 grams of pork. Um, I've got one small grated onion. You want it nicely, nice, almost like minced, really, really fine. So I'll put it through the grater. Try to take off my fingernail. But at least it gets it really nice and small. Now, the Vikings did use herbs and spices. And in fact, some of the herbs and spices you might not expect, but they did travel, what they, you know, they were huge explorers, and they did have spices, but we're going to add, what I've got here is finely chopped up some fresh tarragon. Not necessarily saying that's what they would have put in it, but that was the only herb I had to add, so I thought I might as well use it. Now, you could use some nutmeg, you could use ground ginger, again, not the kind of things you find lying around in Scandinavia but they would have brought it back from their travels. We're going to need one egg, salt, pepper. Um, but later on, for on, we're going to need um, some chicken broth, well, chicken stock, and some sour cream. A little bit of flour to toss the balls in, got flour your balls, and some butter to cook it in. Now, that's going to take the best part of an hour to make it all, cook it all. So once we've actually got the the meatballs cooking in the oven, we'll prepare the veg, because that only take about 15 minutes, all right? So, me bread soaking, time to top me aisle up, and then we can get on. <laughs> 